5 seconds i am very happy to have this opportunity of speaking to you this evening and as you all know there is no subject dearer to me than education one of the first objects of the universities all over the world is to produce a class of men who devote themselves to research and scholarship of the highest order i fear this is not possible in this country at any rate not possible on a large scale for some time to come in the first place the atmosphere that is necessary for such research and scholarship does not exist in our country and it must come into existence only slowly then our men do not enjoy those opportunities of learned leisure which are necessary for such work to be done further we do not have even those material equipments that are essential in the shape of libraries and laboratories we cannot therefore expect much work on this highest plane in this country for some time to come there is however other work that can be done by our educated men perhaps not so dignified in appearance but not less useful for the immediate welfare of the country you can recognize this education as a new factor in our life as an important influence under which you have now placed yourselves it is a reproach that is something rightly urged against you that your studies and with your college career and this reproach you must try to wipe away and if you do that you will attain a higher measure of culture and a higher degree refinement you will have also qualified yourselves better even for the ordinary duties of life than if you give up your studies the moment you leave your college this is one of the directions in which all can take advantage of facilities that are placed at their disposal though you may not be able to do much work immediately in this respect in other directions too you may make yourselves useful there is the call of duty on all sides whichever may you turn i do not stand here to preach one set of views in preference to another but i point out the responsibilities that lie on you you will soon be surrounded by duties of a pressing character for example there is work to be done for the large sections of our people who are plunged in ignorance and age old superstitions they have been kept at a lower level of existence for which they have got to be raised there is also work to be done for the elevation of the status of women it is not good for any country that a whole sex should be shut out from the intellectual life of a people then the industrial development of the country also needs to be urgently attended to it is true that it is not everyone who can undertake such work but a fair proportion might be reasonably expected to take some interest in this work in one or another of the various fields this is the call of the duty which you will have to recognize when you leave college and take your place in life there is another direction in which you can all show yourselves worthy of your education each one of you show that you recognize the responsibilities that devolve upon you better on account of the education that you have received many of us are apt to imagine that those who look high in the eyes of the public are the only one that lead really useful lives we sometimes talk and write as though only one or two individuals were really doing useful work and the rest only stagnating it is however a mistake to think so 
a nation's true greatness depends upon its average man and woman some years ago i was privileged to go to europe and what impressed me most was that the greatness of those countries was due to the fact that the average men and women there led more earnest lives recognized their responsibilities better and tried to prove more serviceable to the society than we do here it is in the life thoughts and actions of the average men and women that the soul strength of a nation really lies you may not be privileged to make any large contribution to the world's knowledge by research and scholarship but every one of you can lead better and more earnest lives on account of the education you have received if you do that you will have set a high example to those who come after you and you will also have largely added to the moral energy of the nation i therefore ask you to continue your interest in your studies by trying to be of service to the people in any of the fields i have just mentioned and by leading in your particular sphere a better a more earnest and a more dutiful life dear sirs we acknowledge receipt of your order of the 15th ultimo for supply of 500 tons of ball bearings we have issued detailed instructions to our sales manager to carefully pack the bearings according to sizes and send them by road as desired by you we hope the material to reach you within a few days and request you to kindly acknowledge their receipt we are extremely happy to learn that you have made appreciable progress in increasing the sales of our products last year we assure you that as before we will take all possible steps to comply with your orders in full as regards your request for raising the rate of commission we have referred the matter to our financial advisor though the reasons given by you cannot be accepted totally we are prepared to go halfway in view of the efforts you have been making in popularizing our products in the face of keen competition from other companies we also note that you are proposing to open new sales depots in the neighboring districts to meet the requirements of new industries coming up in the area we may however hasten to add that it would be more appropriate to consider your request next year for this reason as you know supply of electricity has not been constant and every month we are facing the prospect of reducing production at the same time we are not in a position to reduce the labor force for no fault of theirs in fact we have been persuading the labor to be content with the existing wages and we are able to maintain even the normal production with great difficulty we understand from the electricity board that power position is likely to improve in the next few months and we hope with assured supply of electricity we will be able to reach our production target and then it may be possible for us to consider your request very favorably in the meanwhile we will be glad if you can kindly bear with us and not insist on immediate revision of the terms and conditions thanking you yours faithfully